Due Date Oriented Planning Until now, RealSoft Project has only been asked for Capacity Oriented Planning, and now from Version 7, Due Date Oriented Planning is also available for you. First we deal with Capacity Oriented Planning. In our example project, the option Capacity Oriented Planning is enabled. In addition, personnel resources are already assigned to the tasks. We can display employee usage at the resource view, Employee. We switch to the Gantt chart and select the Manufacture Electrics activity. In its Properties window on the Employee tab, we mark the employee Mr. Vega. By clicking on the Resource Pool button, we can change the non-working days for Mr. Vega directly in the Resource Pool. We highlight the 22nd and 23rd of January by holding down the left mouse button and enter in the column Type the letter V for a holiday. Afterwards, we confirm the changes with OK. The Manufacture Electrics activity has been extended to two days and successor activities have been postponed accordingly. And as a result, deadline targets were adjusted. The Employee view shows us that the employee, Mr. Vega, has two non-working days during the Manufacture Electrics activity. Conclusion Capacity-oriented planning is recommended if the available resources are sufficient and should not be overloaded. It is particularly interesting for the assessment of the duration and feasibility of the upcoming projects. Now we go back to our initial situation. We turn on the Gantt chart view and reload the sample project with assigned personnel resources. But now, we would like to enable the option Due Date Oriented Planning in Project Properties. RealSoft Project informs us about the additional column Negative Effort in the table. As in the first variant, we select the Manufacturer Electrics activity. We repeat the definition of the same non-working days for the assigned Mr. Vega in the resource pool. On the Gantt chart, you can see the holiday days that have been entered. However, at the same time, we can understand that the activity duration has not been changed. In the negative effort column, the value is minus two person days instead of zero. A negative effort has a difference between an effort assigned to roles and the effort covered by employees with assigned role. The employee view shows that Mr. Vega has his holiday on the 22nd and 23rd of January. Resulting negative effort minus two person days is highlighted separately in the properties window. We switch to the Gantt chart, click on the Manufacture Electrics activity, and assign Mr. Davidson by double click to cover the negative effort in the activity. The resource view employee shows us exactly how the personnel resources of Mr. Vega and Mr. Davidson are utilized in the Manufacture Electrics activity. Conclusion Capacity-oriented planning is required if the activity and project deadlines are to be kept in any case. The resulting overload could be compensated either by increasing the processing capacity or by adjusting the efforts. If you want to make your own image about RealSoft Project, 30 Days Trial Version is available for you to download. Try out the efficiency and usability of RealSoft Project.